The Arizal reveals to us that the word Pesach is a compound word, Pesach, the mouth that speaks. Arizal teaches that not only were we physically enslaved in the land of Egypt, but our uh, faculty of speech was enslaved in Egypt. And upon liberation, Hashem liberated not only us physically, but He liberated our faculty of speech. That is why, who enslaved us in Egypt? Paroi, para, the evil mouth. And Moshe Rabbeinu in Mitzrayim was Kfad Peo, Kfad Lashon. And where were we freed? We were freed Pi Hachirois, the mouth of freedom. And Tver Shloimai writes, in the Midbar we were Sagar Aleim HaMidbar, could be read Sagar Aleim HaMedaber. The faculty of speech was closed. And therefore, with Yitzhak Mitzrayim, we liberate, we show our freedom of speech by using speech for the right purpose. Number one, we use our mouths for Sipra Yitzhiyot Mitzrayim. We use our mouths for Achilas Matzah, Achilas Mara, and all the Anishtia of the Dalit Kaisis. But there's another way to show the Cheros of Pesach, to show the Cheros of the faculty of speech. Perhaps the best way is to use your mouth to show kindness for one spouse for another. A husband to, should speak words of kindness to a wife. A wife should use her mouth to speak words of kindness to her husband. Perhaps this Pesach, in order to show real Cheros Hadibor, we should all be macabre upon ourselves every day, at least one time, to make a conscious effort to say words of kindness, husband to a wife, wife to a husband. And in that sense, we will really elevate and show Cheros and liberation of our Kayach Hadibor. And this way, we will ensure, as like Sam Soifer writes, Hashata Hacha, Lashana Haba Ba'ara the Yisrael refers not only to us physically but to our bias. That if we have Chesed and Shom in our bias, the bias, like the Batek Nesias and Batek Midrashis, the bias itself will also be Biyushalayim Habenuya, Achakashavasameach.